Okay, so today uh, we'll be focusing on the render graph. Now, carrying on from last time, I still have the uh, code that takes a rendered image and saves it to a file. And with that, I have enough confidence that I have that I am aware of. I have enough knowledge of the problem space regarding the render graph to be able to continue to refine it to a certain extent. And to, to begin with, that will be for focusing on removing the command pool and command buffer generation from within each individual job and uploading it to the render graph itself, like this, this render graph object in, instead. This should be able to win it uh, going through the jobs to be able to generate Man, pools and buffers as required and the uh, the eventual goal is that like to be able to at this level you'll be able to figure out some kind of uh savings that you can do so if you have a one-to-one -one job relationship then you can instead of having two different command buffers just continue using the same one that you already have and things like that so you don't have so you there'll be hopefully less synchronization points and all that kind of stuff so to begin with, <clears throat> I need to get started on the creation of command pools. Now, let's have a look at command pools here. Command pool, command pool creation. We create, okay, Q family index. That is going to be, right now I'm just, I guess I'm, they're all going for zero. That's not proper, obviously. That's not going to fly. So uh, what I want to do instead is at the beginning here, just create command pools for all the Q families. And then as I go through them, yeah, yeah. So command pools. Okay, command pool. Command pools. Uh, for uh, I want to do two things: dk result, dk result, dk res equals dk success. Now to say result entirely. And what was it? Un thirty two t const uh, number of q families. We'll grab from the graphic session, which we do have. Graphics VK session. Get num two families. Graphics session. Really, I don't have it. Really, graphics VK session. Or is it just like this? Ah, okay. So for i is less than num q families, we'll just generate a command pool for each of them. I'll figure out refinement a bit later. Uh, I need a copy of that function in the empty namespace up here. Or do I have another one closer? I do. Okay. I created the command pools. I need to add them to the vector. They're automatically being destroyed by this. Then I need to start a command buffer when I'm executing. So I need to like VK command buffer. Right now, just do a one-to-one. -one. I'll figure about, I'll think about like refinements and savings and stuff later. Right now, I just want to move this all of this from each and in every single one of these jobs types into here to do a little bit of code savings, I suppose. 
maintenance savings. Um, <clears throat> Command buffer equal dk null handle. Great, we create. So I need that, that still to actually be there. Create command buffer. Uh, command buffer. I need to figure out the desired. Desired. Uh, Q family equals. I need, okay, that's actually something I need to do. I need to add, I need to send that through when I add the job. I need to have like, you know, two families that I want. So, what, family flag? I think it's flags, flags, flags. I think DK, Q, graphics, transfer, Q fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are flag, uh, Q flags. So I need that. That needs to be passed through to this. So let's find the declaration of this. Let's add. This is already getting pretty heavy with the number of uh, parameters. So I need to create a a um, structure for it. And find render graph here. I need. <clears throat> Type def is this a C no it's a C plus plus still so whatever type def obstruct render graph job info something like that which we will start with BKQ flag. I'll just add the new stuff here for the moment. And then I'll add in this other old stuff later. So for now, we'll just kind of, it's the render graph. We have the, this. Job info. We got that, we pass it through to here. What we want to do is we want to dot q flags equals p job info q flags like that. Now I'll assume okay if we if if um if no q flags are provided then it then there is no preferred family that means like if i have an already started command buffer and you don't care what family you've run on then i'm just going to carry on using that buffer that's already in play yes yeah yeah otherwise if you do have flags then uh there will be a thing for down here where it's going to choose if Yeah, if desired Q family equals that. The job, uh, no, photo graphics, DK, get best Q family for graphics session and the job, uh, Q flags. If it's zero, it'll just probably grab the first thing anyways right now. So that should be safe. But we want from command tools that command buffer count of one allocate the buffer blah 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 I want to then begin the buffer I was up here created started command buffer start the command buffer then we're figuring out the barriers and we perform the job then we end the buffer here then we go through the job submission here which i'm going to kind of do behind a if false right now because i don't actually want to do it so obviously it's still being done inside of each and every job but this is a good start oh and i need to pass a fence through right 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 
<clears throat> UK fence. So in here. Wait, what am I doing? Hold on. I could just copy that thing through, right? I could just, yeah. Make a copy. Almost. I can almost make a copy. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do a copy yet. Hold on. Okay, whatever. Not you, fellow eggs. You, um, you, Robin, foe. Equal T, job info, uh, fence. Great. And then we, down here, we, instead of fence, we do P, job, fence. Okay. Okay, does that break anything right now? Of course, that's going to break a bunch of things, isn't it? Does this doesn't have the new oh, graphics? Okay, render graph job info. That equals that. And that. Let's just kind of do that everywhere else. Just passing the fence through. That's pretty much. Okay. Uh, resolve. I should still have a render graph. I am GUI job. Uh, the XR swap chain job. And a render scene job. All passing data through. Okay. Does this still work? It better. I haven't really done anything. I'm just passing stuff through and then not using it. Oh, I should actually probably... That if I want to actually run it. Okay, so VR is functional and so is this. Great. So let's stage this. Now, I need to update these jobs to accept a command buffer. And uh, I don't want to move transition all the all the uh, jobs over at once, 
So I also want to have like a, I guess a boolean. So one, okay, dk command buffer and a boolean. This is going to be, this boolean is going to basically say whether or not this job submitted it stuff internally or not. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that should work. So that was that. I need to do the same thing here. DK command buffer, bool and comma, there we go. Right, right. Uh, I need to send DK null handle, and I need to send internally submitted equals true, and then if it's not true, then we submit it externally here. Then I need to go through all of these jobs and update them for that. So DK do that. Need to find where it's created or right about here. Two, three. So did that one, did that one, that one. Back to the basic. Okay, I probably missed one somewhere. Yes, yes, I did. Somewhere, and that somewhere being oh, I put them in the wrong place. Okay, I uh, uh, I missed this one. Command buffer and then internally submitted. Okay, okay. Does it work? Yes, it does. So, let's get started. We will do, let's say, an easy one. Hold on a second. No, this isn't going to be. If, let's say, an import image job. Okay, let me actually just open it this way. This will have weight semaphores. And what I'm doing is I'm adding more weight semaphores onto it right there, right there. So I need to export these weight semaphores to the render graph. So 
Okay, what about, can I just do like this? Does this one use, this one doesn't have any, so I can just do this. I can test it on this. I do have a blit, but copies use more. So let's do it on copy. Let me do this. This comes down to about here. Okay. We do this stuff. This is renamed to command buffer. Copy command, this stuff, and then we end it here. And we submit it here, and then what? So internally equals false. Then I return. I need to make sure this is deep page success. Okay. See what happens when the rubber hits the. It fails horribly. Fantastic. I did not pass in a command buffer. That's a pretty easy fix. So I need to pass in the command buffer, please. Okay, XR is good, that's good. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. So I, okay, copy image in here. Just delete all this extra stuff that I don't need anymore. It's all just, it's all just gone. Don't even need that anymore. Literally just this. Okay. Let's do the same thing on the blit. That should be basically the same thing. Actually, I already have it half staged, so I could just I could just do this. Command buffer, do 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 do. Just split and copy. Okay, next. Um, export image has, that's going to have uh, signal semaphore stuff that will have that. This. Needs signal semaphore. Mm -hmm. This entire jaw, th there's no actual command run here. This is literally a wait some this literally waits and signals adding a fence. What? Hold on. This is waiting on all the semaphores. There are no signal nothing to signal. Oh no no this signal semaphore is used to signal the presentation to happen. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That is actually still a bit, a bit of a thing. Not entirely sure how to handle this one, actually. I'm really not. I 
I'll figure it out later. So same thing here, start command buffer, do this, get rid of dk result. This is used literally just down here for that stuff. We can remove that, remove this stuff. Okay. I'm not even testing resolve yet, am I? New. Let's try it. Oh, can we? Just to make sure. Yeah, yeah, it's good. These are good. That leaves these ones where I need to start playing around with. I need, okay, I need to pass to this some extra information, such as signal semaphore count. Wemaphores. Then this stuff needs to be copied into, okay, into the render graph. Okay, semaphore, wait, semaphores. If we do that, we're gonna make our life, my life just a teensy bit easier by doing that. This one I add, dot wait semaphores equals, job info sorry not signal wait semaphores one and two signal And then what I want to do is bit copy export image. Okay, so what I want to do, what do I want to do? I just need to pass, okay, I just need to pass these through, right? Wait, signal semaphores. So what would happen is it's signal semaphores plus And this is what, UN32, that. Uh, 
Um, what I want to do Wait, hold on. Did I did I do that right? Render scene, render graph in here is yeah, this is wait set. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. I need to dot I need to insert the uh new ones. So at the weight semaphores dot end, I need to add e dog weight semaphores dot begin e job weight semaphores dot end. And do the same thing for signal. One, two, three, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of... What about... Okay. Do I actually need... For import and export, I don't actually need to have a job. So, if... Only create a command buffer and submit a command buffer. If I need it, or if... If e job job function, if I have this, if this actually exists, then create a command buffer. Job function. Only do that if that's the case. that if the job job function then submit info dot command buffer count equals one and command buffer we don't have those by default okay okay make sure we got this good so far good so far okay I'm passing those through although I'm not quite using them yet. So what I want to do then, close all that, go to here, okay, add that, add that, that's still good, this stuff. Close all the others. I don't actually need anything in here. Do not do this. What I want to do is I just want to have like nothing, nothing at all. Does that work? There's no job. There's no nothing. So presumably in the render scene, sorry, not the render scene, in the render graph, we will not be hitting this. We'll be hitting this. Okay, perfect. We have a command buffer that's null. Perfect. Does it work? No, it does not. So 
this needs to be part of this. Move this up to about here. Find whatever barriers we need to. Currently submitted, get rid of this, do this. True, okay, this should be equivalent. We are good to D good. So that's export image. That's that that's this entire there's no job. It's just, it's just a signal system. Uh What I need to do, yeah, well, that's later, 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 later. Export image, yes. This is another job that's just signaling. So let's do that. Present image is a real thing that has some very weird stuff going on. Resolve image, real, import image, export image. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I do that right? Hold on. I'm missing something, aren't I? I'm not passing through some stuff. I am not passing through this stuff correctly. Wait, some fours. I don't know how it worked, just by accident. Import. Wait, some fours. Count. Equals. Wait. Size. Import image. Weight semaphores, weight semaphores. Export image. Signal semaphores, signal semaphores. Okay. Uh, blit image. Any semaphores? No. Copy image won't have it either. Present image. Wait, but I'm not passing that through stuff through anyway, so no. I'm GUI? I don't think so. No, this is just an internal swap chain. What's going on? Import swap chain image render job. Only using the swap chain stuff internally. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. Going back to removing the stuff we don't need. Frame buffer command pool stuff. Here we go. Wait, what do I use the frame buffer with? Hold on. Just bef before I uh, do something stupid, frame buffer. Is there anything to do with the command buff? 
No. Render pass, begin info. Okay, no, 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 yeah, I'm good. Let's wipe this out. So up to here, command buffer. There's no wait in signal 7 forwards, right? Yes, no. Start, bam. And then down to end. And submission stop there. There is actually a VK result that's happening in here. So this is stole on the kernel, that's fine. Uh, render graph, I'm good. So I can just see if I'm GUI starts uh, breaking down immediately. Yes, it certainly does. That wasn't great. So what happened? Command. Oh, I did not set the internal uh, thing. Command pool, command buffer, start command buffer. There we go. So next is swap chain. Uh, this has got a bunch of other stuff going on. And I have an extra timeline set before that I've created inside. Hmm. Don't touch this one, not yet. This one, however, should be good. Frame buffer, okay, command pool and buffer and con render pass and command buffer. Okay, let's see if the 3D scene renders. Yes, it does. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that just kind of leaves the, uh, the, the XR swap chain and the presentation, the present one, which I may just leave or I'll change it up. Maybe I'll have some other functions. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Like maybe I'll still ha I still will have the ability to do wait and signal semaphores. Like I'll have a function that allows you to write to a command buffer, or another that allows you to you to just bring in wait and signal semaphores instead, and a command buffer perhaps, so you can submit it yourself. Hmm, there are options. There are options. Yes. Okay, uh, in that case, uh, XR.
Let's have a look at this timeline semaphore thing. Okay, this is a problem. I have an extra uh, bit of submit info in a P next. All right. So what I would want then with the submission of this is uh, render graph, render graph, render graph. This I need to add like extra. That I need like a. Expo submit info, something like that. I need to pass it through to this. Mm -hmm. Render graph add job. In here, that needs to last as long as basically anything else. So that means I need to, okay, I need to actually use that data, first of all. Extra submit info. Okay, rolling back to that. This timeline number four. Um is created inside of here and inside of here. This is where this this uh, weird CPU function function stuff is happening, which is being run when in the application towards the very end. We do all this stuff, and then at some point, execute render graph. Execute the render graph, then render it, and then execute CPU jobs. All right. That is terrible. Hmm. Okay. This job is intricately connected with this semaphore. So what should happen really is I pass in the semaphore timeline of this semaphore. I pass in this semaphore. I'm passing this semaphore through along with extra data. So. I need this data down here somewhere in the resource management section. Okay, that's great. Uh, equals new uint for he dot p weight value equals one. This is becoming just that. This is becoming a New standard no throw of whatever this is. Right, it needs to be that. New that. This isn't being used, but it will be. Okay, uh, if.
Clay County. 50 timeline aside, oops. The timeline aside, oops. That cleans itself up. And then I need, need to pass this through the, uh, the, um, the job thing. Dot T extra equals that. Um, that's still that. That's okay. That's seven four. Oh, right, right, right. I need to pass that through as well. Dot signal or wait sorry wait seven four count equals one dot t wait seven four equals n bat okay that'll be passed through even though it's not used right now correct or actually it's still broken because I haven't actually added that to it'll be a linker error for the moment. That means I need to go to application and I need to pass in absolutely nothing right now. One, two, three, four, five here. That's good. The VR is good. Okay. I need, okay, we got all this stuff, this stuff happens, then we execute CPU, okay. I need to create this, the timeline semaphore here, if I'm passing it in. So, create timeline semaphore, we want this stuff, and including the destruction of it, happen here. Um, okay, goodbye, goodbye. Clear left, right? There's no clear left. Clear right, okay. Create semaphore. Do 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 do. We got this. So this has kind of been forced back out to about this point. It's not so great, but I will pass it in here is what's going to ha what should happen okay hold on before i do that i want to go back to this point and just say hey you know this works i know this works right okay stage it Stage that, stage that, stage that, stage that, and stage that. Okay, now let's start screwing things up. Delayed call, take all this stuff out, goes out to about here. The timeline semaphore goes to there. Default equals. There, see, something, something, something. And program. Formatting's broken. That's cool. That's cool. This is being passed in. Then I go to here and I see the semaphore. Do, 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 do. And, and this is the signal info. That happens here instead. Wait, semaphore submission. isn't going to happen here.
because it should be happening out there, but okay, so internally submitted to equal false. DK success. We're still gonna add the CPU job to this for the moment. Okay, VR is still alive. Wait, looks like Google. Is that just me or? Wait, so I actually see this now. No, no, it's good. Okay, it's just a weird artifact on the uh, on screen display. Okay. So this is gone. This. CPU job. Basically, this just kind of should happen right here for the moment. Or whatever the swap chain was. Which again, like, yeah, we... IT swap chain. Uh, timeline semaphore. This is back out here, but realistically, like that having that weird janky thing is just way too weird. Wait, this is was way too weird. Get rid of this job function. We have all this stuff. We just kind of do this. It's still good, right? It's still good. Yeah, we're still good. Okay. Nice. And then this is back out here. So not so nice. Can I like I really don't like having that as part of the CPU thing like this, because that would ha this would be running in serial, which is not great. I don't have enough control if it's in something like this. So remove that. Remove the CPU job thing entirely from this. This it was silly idea. I I had to have been insane to think it would be a good idea. Okay, this is just gone, right? Yeah. Let's leave it in for the moment. Because realistically, what I want to do, what I should really be doing, is the presentation, present one. VR is good, VR is good. Present, present. What to do about you? All uh, right, I think did a temporary semaphore, which kind of did 
does that, yeah. I think I will have to have, still have like two kind of so for the most part I have removed a lot of jobs and a lot of content out of this a lot of complexity from most of the jobs but there's still like I still have to kind of deal with it with you know cases like this where like you know someone really has to do something that just is not normally supported so I will have to have a function that allows them to take weight semaphores signal semaphores the graphics session and a graphics delay destructor and do stuff themselves. That will be an option. That will still have to be an option. But for the most part, the other normal option is to use a VK command buffer like this. So it'll be that that'll be first. To be first. No, it's either or. You can't have both. Yes. And to reinforce that, I will yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to do a split. So there will be one standard function code result set, which takes in this, this, and this and this for the moment. Job fun. Um, so this will be what is it going to be called? Like, um, custom submit, custom submit sounds. Like I could do it, I could do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. What if I pre prepare VK semaphores and stuff, and I pass that information to? So I have, so I have already prepared. Yeah, that could work. I think it would. Where's the weight mask? Right there with the weight semaphores that were provided. Uh, actually, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, simplify. You get this stuff, which is, you know, uh, custom custom job and then you get this other one which will be just this stuff custom job or you get this one which is one two three custom job or and then buffer job something Something like that. One or two. Okay. So, in this case, it would just be just down to that. Where we have, yeah, the false is gone. And then we just kind of have this, which is do, 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 do. Like that. 
we do the same thing here, get rid of all this stuff. Wait, hold on. Um, Yeah, yeah, not quite yet, not quite yet. Reset these, slam. We'll still have the full job whatever stuff in the second one. What is going on? Hold on. This. One, two, three, angled brackets to fill command buffer function. Okay. Render graph. Uh. Fill command buffer, and then we have, sorry, that, that's not um, custom, custom job function. We come on down to here, close those to the right, let's save it. This is a lot of stuff in here required. Okay, move that stuff to this. Otherwise, this becomes fill command buffer function. It's the original. that okay we go down here if this do 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 then we do all this stuff then if t if t not the job custom job function do that otherwise TK null handle. Else, we want to do T job custom job function where we fill it with what was it? Stuff. Graphic session. Delay destructor. Weight and signal semaphores. That's about it. Okay. Okay. Present. Present. Presentation. Present image. Here we are. We're going all the way to just this, these, like that. Okay. What? Sorry, what's going on here? Right, right. I have that. I have nothing for the custom one. Or is it the other way around? I have it the wrong way around. That's good. This is down. Uh, and then I have...
Ernst and Sigma Semaphores. Is it supposed to be constant? Yeah, yeah, they're all constants. What's what's <laughs> wrong way around? Wrong way. That way. Okay. Lit image. It's the second one. I already did that one. That's my bad. Render graph and GUI. Did I miss any? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's see how this fails. It doesn't. And VR is good too. Okay. Let's get all this here. Let's remove the things we don't need from this one. So that's all of this stuff. Uh, right, yes, yes, yes. We have a blit image where we want to just remove all this extra garbage. Copy image is done. Export image, there's nothing there. Uh, import image, there's nothing there. Present image already done. Resolve image, there's stuff. Moving on down to the ungui job. Swap chain. There's nothing in here either. Render scene. Down to about here. We there's internally submitted, that's gone. Oh, this is still here. Don't need this, right? Yeah, I shouldn't need this anymore. What was this? Importing the swap chain. Yeah, yeah, this should not be required anymore. Because it should instead be handled, preferably, by oh, wait, some of all count. It's just one, so it's just equals one. I will assume that there will always be one for now. Resolve image, that's gone. Oh, oh. Whoop, okay. Starting to make mistakes now. Bad key combinations.
Did I? I don't think I. The CTP side. Turn the graph equals this, this, and this. Trash all that. DR is alive, 2D is alive. Okay. Fantastic. And then now I can take out the CPU stuff safely, I think. I believe CPU jobs gone. Anything else with CPU jobs? No. Render graph. CPU jobs gone. CPU jobs. You gone. It's down. It's all gone. Not needed. Okay. How much do I really save? Like 70, 60, 70 lines per job and all the complexity around that. So, you know, not too bad, I guess. So that leaves a few more items. I got to add like resource count and stuff into this. So we'll kind of like leave, you know, that's, whoop, let me actually open a, a writable file. Resource count, resources in, resource read only, the free data function, the name, and whether it's required, all this stuff, I'll stuff in the layer. Like that. The name, free data function, this stuff. Well, it's still got a lot of C++ stuff, so I'll kind of leave it like that for now. So I'll just kind of move the rest of this stuff around. Oh yeah, internally some of it's gone. What about that? These items, so what's going on? It's first, right? Dot resource count equals two. Dot P resources in equals resources in dot data.
view resources read it in only equals that'll be a bit easier that way one two three Free data function equals that. Dot name. Dot name. And bool dot required equals that. That really reduces the footprint of that and makes and it makes it a lot more obvious as to what each of the parameters was or were or are for that's got to be like got to be resource count instead got that we'll do this here down to about there. One and resource. Read only, there's no data function. And it is required. Yeah, this is way cleaner, way better, way more usable, maintainable. Null, null, free data function. like doing that's kind of just a good idea. Present That and that, uh, the name and true. Down to that, resolve two locations, no, just one. Anim name Ah uh, yeah, I still got some to go here. Dog name false.
Kilos and okay. Um, And finally, render scene up down here. Whoa. Okay, that's the wrong key combo. But name equals that. Okay, I'm assuming there's probably one somewhere. And find reference to. This. It's now that. P job info name. P job info required. Just kind of need to prefix these. Unused function. You are right about that. Unused entirely. Export image, copy image, that's just gone, so is that, I believe had another thing up here, display image, that's gone, frame buffer is still there, you, that's gone, this whole thing's gone, And that's all right. This is all right. Virtualization of sub object. I got a number of unused parameters that I'll clear out later. So I can do it right now, really. That was lit. Copy. Feel good? Come on. Yes, we're all good. Oh, yes. I think. Let's see. If we turn off XR, because that always... Uh, screws around with um, Vulcan a little bit. Turn on the validation. Show me. Show me the horror show. The very long load time for the extra huge layers. All right. Yeah, we got problems. Swap chain image. Is that it? I 
It is invalid to issue this call in sudden active render pass. Did I not close? Did I not end the render pass? Where? The only thing that would really have a render pass would be I am GUI. Uh, which doesn't really have anything. Okay, let's put this up. I am GUI. Did I accidentally remove the render pass? I did. Put that back on. What about swap chain? Did I do that? Oh, not swap chain. Render scene. You still have your render, render pass end. This is also supposed to wait. Right, this is supposed to actually uh, output something, right? No? Okay. Thought it did. What on earth is going on in here? And com oh, it's end command buffer. Ooh, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, 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 oh, some things. Oh, no, that was from the uh, saved image. After the saved image. Uh, saved image, exiting main loop. I've got, like, two objects. Divide, two images for something. Two, a fence and an image. Hmm. I'm happy otherwise. I, I I can figure that out offline. This is solid. This is a huge rework. It sets me up for a lot of things down the road. So I am happy with this as it is. So I'll, I'll take it offline. I'll fix up those little uh, last Vulcan issues. And then I'll um, commit it. So until next time, cheers.